So Capricorn, let's see what's coming your way. And of course, you know you have to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Uh, while we shuffle the cards. And um, also, you have to hit the notification bell. Because otherwise, you don't get notification when I post. Um, and that's it. Thank you. So, hey. Look what's coming your way. Love is coming your way. We do have Harmony and we do have the Nine of Wands. This is the Perseverance card. This is the Wounded Warrior. This is when everything is said and done. I am still standing in Harmony. So that's good. I believe you and your partner, well, the energies are saying you are in Harmony. But we also need to have some movement, some choices and decisions. For some of you, somebody might have made some movement choices and decisions and we are in the wounded warrior kind of energy. It's like, yeah, but I'm hurt. I know. Yeah, you disconsidered me. And that's why we combine decks when we have doubles like this and confirmations like this. Spiritual strength. For some of you, somebody is in an awakening energy here um, of spiritual strength of dealing with um, troubled times from a spiritual perspective, which is unconditional love, co-constructing with the universe, laws of balance, you know, universal laws. And we do have the four of wands, might be about the marriage I'm picking up here. And we might be hurt by decisions. Um, of course, I do, not, I do not read reversals with this deck. I do with traditional tarot when I use decks like this or uh, bigger decks. It's kind of um, difficult. So, we do have Two of Cups, Spiritual Union. We absolutely love somebody. They might love us. This is the, can be their energy. But also we have the energy of the hangman, which is sacrificing for love. And we have the energies of patience and planning. And we have the love again. We do have the world it might be an ending of a love situation. We might be confused, but we are not taking it because we love this energy of awakening. That's a hangman walking a mile in somebody's shoes patiently, uh, waiting for an awakening, patiently sacrificing because the real love is happening here. Two of Cups, spiritual union. So yeah, you do have a spiritual union with somebody, Capricorn. Can be a Pisces Cancer. The hangman is Pisces Cancer energy. But we'll see. And uh, this is the energy because you have confirmation. It's like you love them, they love you right back. So we love this energy, absolutely. So past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Let's have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. And let's have the possible outcome on your side the person you are dealing with and we do have the sacrifice again i don't know if somebody is sacrificing for love capricorn we are going to take it because we have confirmations here we do have the hangman twice and the spiritual union which is the two of cups twice and we have the seven of pentacles we sacrifice and we are patient about a very loving a very soulmate bond and spiritual union over here you are aware they are aware you are sacrificing they are and in the midst of it we are being patient and um planning something um the hangman is also about changing perspectives on love and i believe you change your perspectives they change their perspectives and again in the midst of it we are staying patient that's the seven of pentacles waiting for harvest time so Capricorn in the past, we do have the lovers. We had it while shuffling. So amazing energy, Gemini energy and the Nine of Swords suffering in silence. Um, does look like a love connection that was troublesome. We, um, you know, we might have been um, concerned about the harmony in the household. Um, the lovers, maybe the love, you were scared. This is a lot of stress living under a lot of pressure. This is the questions we have in our mind. I'm not sure I, I am loved, right? Doubting, that's energy of thinking all negative thoughts about, um, about this love connection with this person. And it might have, um, you know, kind of um, messed up with the harmony in, or the, um, you know, the, the energy where we feel good at home because it's the safest place on, our, on earth it should be. So at some point, maybe the harmony was disrupted 
because you were kind of in your head um, believing and thinking that, you know, some threats are somewhere. Well, Capricorn, what happened, baby? They said, off we go, right? Um, we do have the devil, uh, of course, the energy of temptation, and we have the death, the energy of Scorpio Capricorn energy. You might be dealing with the Scorpio, with the Capricorn like yourself. But somebody might have said, you know what, this is over. This is leading nowhere um, based on harmony and things, transformations, temptations. Um, um, we know the devil is also the energy of, um, of toxic connection and maybe this love became a little bit too much. It's the energy of um, jealousy. It's the energy you know, of um, a controlling energy and codependency and stuff. And this person might have said with the death, well, you know what? Um, I grew out of it. I don't know why I'm picking up this because we have so much love as the overall energy. So I don't know. Um, mutual energy is in the past between you and this person. We do have the energy of six of swords moving on. This is the energy of, um, you know, um, quieting the mind. This is the energy I, for my own sake, I have to move on. And, um, we have the ace of pentacles, right? One was willing to invest and continue the journey because that was love. A little bit scared, but still. That was an offer on the table and I'm sensing Capricorn it might be on your side because we have the love card. This person was ready to move on due to, to some dark energies. I mean, the devil and the death. Um, it's quite a dark side of, of, this, uh, of this bond. And um, with the sacrifice twice, actually. Um, and Capricorn, of course, we're going to see. We're going to go through the reading. But we do have twice the energy of the sacrifice. So you might feel that they've sacrificed and actually their energy is one of love. Or you have the energy of love while this person felt that. You know, they kind of sacrificed or they had to or they are sacrificing right now, you know. can be both your energy or you can feel, you know, um, you know when we get in a fight um, or in conflict with people and um, we say, yeah, I sacrificed for this love and I gave so much and you gave nothing and the other person, goes, I gave nothing, I gave, you know, that kind of dynamic where I actually gave everything, you know. And... Um, and, and sacrifice and love, you know, so it might be that kind of dynamic. And um, so I don't know if you're afraid of something that they might not be honest. That is a suffering in silence because of love, right? And they have this energy of um, toxic and, and um, um, jealousy and uh, control and codependency. So maybe that's why you feel the same, you know, it's like when we give a lot. And we expect a lot and now we added that kind of energy you sacrificed i did even more you know kind of energy so um this is how it feels and yet that is a world of patience right it's like okay let me be smart about it and let me be patient because we don't want to overreact we don't want to uh, say something we uh, to hurt other people we know words are trauma actually they can create not are they can create trauma to people so we are being smart about it while discussing like this love and the sacrifice that we've made to make it kind of happen, right? Capricorn, right now you do have the energy of the sun twice. We do have the light. It's like a spark of enlightenment of some sort or uh, it looks like basking in the sun, honestly. <laughs> you know, light, light. You have the sun twice. For some of you, you might have two sons, right? Two kids. And they are actually your light and your sun can be about children and you are all um, illuminated because of that energy. For some of you, this is the truth, the awakening, awareness, illumination. This is the energy of now I see. This is the light bulb um, and, um, and the clarity and the aha moment, honestly. This is how it feels. And of course, can be a Leo you are dealing with or a Leo that is involved in kind of like your whole world, but honestly, um, is, um, you know, um, going in circles around this person, but, um, I'm, I'm, that's a strong energy of awakening. And I say that because we do have twice the energy of the hangman, which is the energy of awakening of new perspectives is the energy of knowing better because we stretch and we sacrifice to understand the situation. And, um, and then there was light, you know, this is, um, this is how it feels. 
and then there was light. Um, wow. Now the person you are dealing with, um, Capricorn, they are going through the Four of Wands energy. This is um, foundations and achievements. This is the energy of family and marriage. And they have the Five of Wands. This is them um, struggling. This is them confronting themselves. Five of Wands is the energy of um, not knowing. It's the energy of fighting a feeling. Um, and it's interesting. It's fighting, um, you know, foundations and achievements. This is kind of the energy of, and because we have the death and um, the devil, which is your energy, might have been an ending or maybe it was on their mind at some point because they needed peace of mind with the Six of Swords and now they are in there. I'm not sure I can do this, right? This is confronting themselves on their choices and because it is um, something is at stake, right? We do have foundations and achievements. They feel they've built something with you. That was a life that was put on um, in motion was created. This is about roots. This is about community um, Coming together. This is about celebrations and weddings and then you know, it's like I cannot give up You know, this is this is what I've worked and built Mutual energies between you and this person we do have right now. We do have the Empress This is the energy of the mother of your children the father of your children and we do have the hermit so uh, both of you might be silent right now. You're going through um, Capricorn through illumination and awakening this person having their soul torn apart. Um, because again, this energy with the Empress of children, of family, of stability, of, um, you know, I've created this. This is the energy of the mind combined with the energy of the heart. And we also have the wisdom and the solitude that comes with the hermit energy. Let me shine a light on this. Let me be wise about it. Let me be smart, you know. Let me be at peace um, so that I can understand more and go through uh, my soul's journey. That's a hermit, right? And probably um, Capricorn, you come to, um, to this um, connection with the energy of fertility and children. And the energy of, you know, let's, you know, let's get into the Empress energy while this person, because they are going through obstacles and challenges, they might kind of feel alone at this time. Well, moving forward, I, this is an awakening. Oh my God, Capricorn, this is like a um, um, consciousness awakened in such, awakened in such a powerful way. Um, because we have light twice, now we have the magician in this deck, it's about awareness and we also have material and spiritual prosperity. This is the Six of Pentacles. It's the energy of reciprocity, the energy of balance of decisions, it's justice in major arcana while having the awareness. So either you, we are, um, um, you, you know how it feels and uh, of course I might be wrong and you only take what resonates, but um you know it's like somebody you know we we don't expect right we are in a connection we don't expect things are good well not perfect right because we are suffering in silence and sometimes love um you know having love or doing love uh, in this connection was a hustle and we got scared and god knows what the nine of swords was for you um, and then the other person says, well, you know what, it's over because, you know, they went through transformations and this is, um, they need peace of mind and then they need a different kind of vibe around them, right? And then boom, it comes like an enlightenment for you. This is how it feels, honestly, you know? And then we double in love and we double in attention and we double in nurturing energies with the Empress and we double in awareness because now it's like, oh my God, I'm going to lose them. Or when somebody, you know, um, sits down with us and says, well, we need to change something because otherwise I'm, I might be gone, you know. And then it's like, boom, you know, the enlightenment of, might be for some of you, definitely this reading with all the double energies absolutely um, feels like an awakening. And of course, we do love the sun twice because it's a happy energy and it's a happy moment, but I'm more sensing that is... Um, you know, kind of an awakening, kind of where the light is coming um, and comes with reciprocity, reciprocity, balance, charity and um, again, the energy of awareness and enlightenment. 
I love the energy on your side, Capricorn. You better hold on, baby, because things are changing. Things will be positive. Now, this person of yours, we do love the Three of Wands and we do love the Three of Pentacles. Well, they want to build a life with you. This is the energy of partnership. And guess what? The other one is partnership and alliances. So they are not giving up on you. This is the energy of collaboration and uh, working together. That um, one. Um, and it's also the energy of waiting on a partnership, right? Waiting for the right moment to have this Three, three of Pentacles. And um, of course, right now it's a, we come to the table with different energies and because of it, mutual energy is going towards June is obstacles and challenges for this firm foundation. At the end of the day, we have the Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles, both are speaking of foundation and with the Five of Wands, we are going through challenges right, up, right now. A little bit of challenges, but... Um, I'm sensing it was meant for you to awaken. Um, Capricorn, you cannot have more clear energies of of awakening and of awareness like this one. It, and it was meant to bring you this renewed love. Um, it was meant to bring you, um, you know, the understanding of, uh, of a spiritual union and sacrifice and changing perspectives and seeing things from a, a, a different angle. And um, and this person of yours, I do believe they uh, believe, they absolutely believe in marriage and partnership and building something and having alliances and, you know, like the partner being the most important thing in their life or the most important person, nothing, but, um, and going through challenging times themselves. We have also repeat cards, the five of wands. So Capricorn, let's ask for some guidance, baby. Let's see what we need to do here. Oh, this one kind of made me squeeze it a little bit. Oh, we love this. Capricorn, we need to speak the language of love, baby. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. So I don't know if lately it was like um, a little bit of suffering in silence. So, and sometimes we might, you know, um, be harsh, but hey, speak the language of love. We do have love makes the difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. Um, again, right? Manifest love, speak and manifest love and um you know heal past hurts with love what else look to your inner strength you are stronger than you realize um so capricorn this is a kind reminder right you have strength inside of you, you have stamina you have love you you can make a difference and you have to speak the language of love um this is your guidance but let's have some guardian angels i only take two and then we go back to the energies we need to get back into the flow we do have judgment so this is about decisions and a review and contemplation so you've accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of now it's time to decide what's next does look like a new chapter as you contemplate the past and the present, you'll get clear on your divine life purpose. Don't be distracted by conventional thinking. Be the real you. And we have the Eight of Swords, a little bit like your Nine of Swords over there. So you may feel as though you're restricted by the circumstances you find yourself in, but that's just an illusion. Make a promise to yourself to refuse to be stuck in a situation that's making you unhappy. Don't wait for someone to come to the rescue when you can free yourself. So that is that. Eight of Swords, mental prison, right? So free yourself. And with the judgment, that is a decision to free yourself, I believe, Capricorn, and uh, to free yourself from your own mind. Um, you are not guided to free yourself from this person. Um, on the contrary, right? You need to speak the language of love. And the other one is love makes the difference. So let's see what energies we need to get back into the flow. And we have death. It's interesting. You have it twice. Might be a connection that ended over here. And it comes with full enlightenment. 
So I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. And that's exactly the judgment day, right? Second chances and a new day, a new dawn. So death, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. And we do have surrender fear. Well, it's been a while we've been afraid, right? Even in the past, we have suffering in silence. So let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment, focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. We do have gratitude. You fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. So you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. So that was a growing experience, right? And we need to be grateful. You are guided. So surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. And bottom of the deck, we do have self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So somebody is actually reminded that you, um, you have what it takes, right? And you have gifts and you have talent and um, you can benefit from it. So um, Capricorn, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And um, come see me next time. Love you. Take care.